Thank you. I am Takur. Thank you. I only have a very short update and then I will leave. I realize that the time grows short. There are, the, we are now bringing people to the colonies and they are all open at this time. There has been some improvements. Our next meeting with the governments will be on August 1st. We have determined a date already. It could change. But August 1st through the 3rd seems to be a time for them that will be acceptable. Of course, this depends on the different things that happen on the Earth in the meantime. Also, I wanted to give an update on the earthquake situations. Many have perished in very violent earthquakes in the last month. And we are still working on keeping people out of harm's way. There have been many, many unreported earthquakes where people have died as well. And these are in remote areas of the world. But right now we are dealing with much seismic activity. Also, there are threats of volcanic activity as well. In Italy, Alaska, Hawaii, Japan, also Washington State. There are many different places. Actually, there's also places in Mexico and Chile that threaten volcanic eruption. But we are keeping things at bay at this time. It cannot always be controlled, but we do our best. We, we kept the plates in place for C California, which is what actually caused the plates to move, because you must understand that the grids of the Earth are all connected, and the faults of the Earth are all connected in some way or another also. They are not totally separated, and therefore if you change the outcome of one, it can cause another to act up. And this is what is happening with your Earth. We did not expect Japan's earthquake to be as violent as it was. We knew that it was coming, but we did not see it as a 7.3. We saw it more as a 5, but actually more plates moved than what we originally had anticipated. We did see the Ecuadorian earthquake to be stronger, but we still did not expect the 7.8. We expected a 6. And so therefore we have much to learn as well. The plates move in some ways different than what are predicted. Is there any questions? Yes, I have one. Yes. Some circles on this planet are talking of a new island forming in the Pacific. Can you yes. give us a perspective from your point of view? There is more than one, actually. In the South Pacific, there is a very, very volcanic area. It's known as the Dragon's Triangle. Islands are born and die there all the time. It is one of the most volcanic and disrupted areas on your planet. It is also an area for alien interactions. Some species feel comfortable with this kind of activity and therefore move underwater or in this area very frequently. And they are not detected because of the very, ac very much amount of activity in this area. I know some of you have heard about it, but there are several islands going to appear in the South Pacific and Central Pacific areas. This is true. Thank you. 
Um, hi to Kurt. This is Sabrina. Sabrina. Um, greetings. Greetings. I have a question about the earthquakes. Um, yeah, yeah. Now, and and the movement of the plates. So, regardless of what you do, if you are able to stop it in one area, that means that the energy has to come out somewhere or in somewhere. Some way. We try to absorb some of the energy with the movements. Let me explain. You understand that if you move one plate, that it is another plate is effective. So we try to move several plates at once so that the energy moves in a, a, a direction other than going down the route of the plates, down the vault itself, or down the area where the tectonic activity is happening. We try to push it out to be absorbed by the earth crust instead of by uh, the fault itself or the actual line where the plates are, are. This is not always successful. And the energy goes through the earth and can hit other tectonic plates that are active. So it is not 100% faultless. And therefore, we are learning how to do it with a greater success. At this time, our success rate with the plates is only about 72%. And with this last set of actions, we realize that we have come up in a couple percentages, but still, we are far from being perfect. But yet, we are still preventing a great deal of death and destruction. So the, the earthquake in Japan and Ecuador were connected. Yes, and there was one in Siberia of in the, the coastal areas, near the coastal areas where there, there was some people affected there but it uh, was not reported and there was some areas in the Pacific Ocean that had some violent quakes and the waves did not cause a full tsunami but higher wave construction. So we know that the Claires who are at the bottom of the ocean in the Pacific Ocean under their domes were affected by this and there was some damage to the reptilian culture there. Okay, uh, and is there anything that, because there's always the aftershocks that sometimes are just as devastating. And yes, and we leave the aftershocks go because they are, it is, they are a natural outcome of the earthquake and they must happen to relieve the tension of the original quake. So we cannot really do anything. Anything. It's actually the settling of the plates that must happen because when a quake happens of that magnitude, the aftershock is the settling of these different plates and they're usually not as destructive. So we try to let them go as much as possible. We have interfered with a couple of them, but not many. Yeah, because uh, Japan had quite a few... Um, they did, and we calmed down the first couple aftershocks. Okay. Um, and then I would like to just ask again um, if you could send rain to uh, Colombia, the, the north of Colombia. I had um, sent a message before, but they haven't gotten rain yet. Um, it and I know is, you're pretty busy, but... It is not that we are busy, but it, it is being blocked by another area or another species is keeping that area dry for their existence. There is an alien species that needs the dryness, and they are still there working on their project, and they will not let the rain come. And we are telling them that this is necessary for that area 
So they are trying to hurry up their project so that the rain can come. Yes, because there are there are many people, you know, dying of starvation because yeah, there's strong. much. There's the rain is necessary, and we we have spoken to them. Okay, can we as humans do anything to help that, or help the the aftershocks or the earthquakes or not anything really? No, it's very little we can do. So I know that there is nothing you can do. Okay, all right. I must go now. So have a wonderful day. Thank you, Tukur. Chikawa. Chikuham tiyukwata. Chikutya wanya ah. Miyakishi. Chiyomwaha. Tiyotukum tushiyakiyakatu atanakwa hata.